Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up some basic uh, flying movement for your character. Um, you know, this works for really any kind of characters. Uh, if you have a game specifically for you know flying, then you know uh, you'll probably already know how to set it up. But um, if you have a game where you just want to take a regular walking character and make him fly, uh, then this is the tutorial for you. Um, also, I will be expanding on this in a later tutorial to show you how to kind of set up a jetpack. Um, but uh, yeah, with that, let's get started. So I am continuing off of the previous tutorials I've done, but this should work for you know just about any character. Um, so let's open up our character blueprint, and we're gonna we're gonna want to find our you know character movement, um, and. If you see here, what we've done is we have some, you know, axis mappings, uh, one for moving forward, one for moving left and right, um, and basically what we want to do is kind of the same concept, right? We want to add another axis mapping that will allow us to move uh, instead of forward and backwards or left and right. We want it to have us move up and down. So to do that, let's go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and we're going to add a new axis mapping. So press the plus and it's going to open some of these for no reason. Um, but yeah, the one we're focused on is this last one. So I'm going to call this move up. So the keys I'm going to use, the keys I'm going to use here are the Q and Z key um, to control my vertical and or yeah, to control my up and down movement. Uh, but you can use whatever keys you want. You just need to make sure that whatever keys you are using, uh, you know, one of them is applying a positive value so that you can move up and the other one is applying a negative value so that you can move down. Um, I'll also be showing you know how to set this up for controller support so let's add... Oh, I hate that. It always opens it. Anyways, so let's add some new ones. Um, we, now we need two here because um, uh, well we're already using the move forward and move right for our analog sticks right um, so we're going to be using our triggers here um, like our the controller triggers to uh, kind of control the you know up and down movement. Um, you know if you have a game that's devoted to flying around, then you know you'll probably use the uh, you know the analog sticks for your flying. Um, but this is for a game that isn't primarily focused on flying. So, anyways, enough talk. I'm just going to type right trigger axis right. So we want to use the axis because if you just press the right trigger, it's um, you know, it's only going to kind of fire once. We want the axis because um, as you fully press it, it will it will go up to one. Like it'll go from zero to one. Um, so now this other one, we're going to do left trigger axis, and we'll set this value to negative one. So when we press the right trigger, we'll go up. Left trigger will go down. Um, so yeah, so that's the basic. Uh, well, that's the setup we need here. So we can exit out of project settings. Uh, let's go back. So we're in our uh, character event graph and similarly to how we you know set up our forward and uh, left and right movement we're going to do kind of the same thing for our up and down so let's type uh, move up and do the axis event and now see we got a forward vector here to add our movement component compo yeah, add our movement input uh, and we got a right vector to add our movement input for moving right so now for moving up, we're simply going to drag out and say up vector, right? Get up vector. So that will give us whatever direction is upwards. So now we can add movement input and just hook everything up. And so that's good. So now um, if you click here in character movement and you go to can fly, Right, I already have this checked. Um, it's going to be false by default, but make sure you click this. Compile to save. Now, when you press play, right, it's not going to immediately let us um, start, you know, flying. Um, so I'm holding the key or the Q key down right now to let me fly, but it's not letting me go up. Now, this is because our movement mode is currently in um, is currently set to walking. So if I type movement sorry, movement mode, you can see my default land movement is walking. So we need to change the um, the movement mode to flying to be able to actually fly, or to, to be able to have vertical movement. So to do this, I'm going to use kind of like a little toggle event. 
So I'm going to use the F key. And I'm going to do a flip flop. And off of, now I need to drag in the character movement. And off of the A, I'm going to do set movement mode. I'm going to set it to flying. And then control W to duplicate. And now off of B, so once I press it again, I'm going to set it back to walking. Compile, save. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Got to plug this in. <laughs> Compile, save. All right. So now it should work, right? So whenever we press F, it's going to, well, the first time it's going to set us into flying, and then when we press it again, it will set us back to walking. So as long as we are in the flying mode, we will be able to um, add this vertical input. So I'm going to press play. So our goal is to get up to there, right? So I'm pressing Q right now, and I'm, I'm not going up because I'm not in my walking mode. Now if I press F, I will now be in my walking or flying mode. So if I hold Q, I can fly. Right, so, and you still have full. Uh, um, you don't actually have to hold the key, right? So once you get to a certain point, you know, I'm just, I'm not holding the key anymore. I'm just floating, um, and you can still have full, uh, you know, forward and left and right movement. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna climb up here, and if you press F again, you'll go back into walking mode. So kind of cool, you know. I could I could jump off, and as I'm falling, press F and start flying again before I hit the ground and you know all sorts of fun stuff so um, so yeah that's really the kind of the basics of setting up your uh, you know your flying movement um, I'll be expanding on this in the next video to uh, kind of show you how you know to use this to create a jetpack sort of thing for your character because um, you know maybe you don't want your character to be able to fly forever you want to you know, say I only want him to fly for like five seconds, um, you know, and then and then run out of you know jetpack fuel or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing how to set that up in the next video. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, um, you know, subscribe, like, whatever, um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.